jumped off of stage one, Welsh Enduro from Vaclin, uh, not far from where I live. I'm not actually racing it, but I am just driving out the course uh, on my well, all mountain, all trail bike, not downhill bike. I'm marshalling tomorrow, so they're, they're happy for me to come and ride it. I ain't going fast, I think it's quite a testing one. Right, and dusty, and windy. Trunk. And here it just drops steep down. That's a bit easy. The roots. That's just a rope face. Very steep. where I was marshalling last year. Last little bit now. And then round. Hello, yeah. All right. Past the dead sheep to finish. So enduro racing. I never really understood what enduro was until I came and marshalled this last year. Enduro racing is a sort of series of downhill stages linked up, often with climbs in between. You've got to do the whole course, you've got to do all the climbs, but you're only timed on the downhill. Uh, for me, I'd be better if it was the opposite. <laughs> I'm much better uphill than downhill. Fox gloves. One of my favourite flowers, and you get so many of them in Wales at this time of year. Stage two. Right, I have been told this is a very different kettle of fish. Very steep. Not even this bit, but where it goes into the wood. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just made it. <laughs> Yeah, very steep. But doable, I think, so far. Yeah, those two lads I just met, they were, they came all the way here to do this race and then found it was a bit beyond them, but they drop off. Marshall point two. Maybe we're up here tomorrow. That sort of skids the back wheel around such steep turns on probably 40% angle. Incline and the drop off. If you don't have the speed going into the drop off, you're in trouble. <laughs> You'll just go ass over to it. Oh, just going sideways there. Okay, it's nice though. Very nice. Speed and dust. Uh, crazy thing about enduro is because it's only the downhills that are timed, and there's four of them, and they're very steep and techy. Your finishing time is going to be somewhere in the region of three and a half minutes, I think, something like that. So people have come up all weekend practicing for basically a three and a half minute race. But I think a lot of us are here just for the crack. Stage three, superb views. It's very hard to get what people say. Those guys I just spoke to said they thought two was easy. <laughs> and one was hard. I didn't find that at all, but but they seem to think that this one is even harder, so... Let's do a bit of walking. I do know my limits. Famous last words. Very 
stay through this. Alright, Justin. Okay, that's part one. People have gone off there, <laughs> like I did. Yeah, very off camber here. Into the bog. Oh, that is steep. I'm not stopping. And down. <laughs> very slow speed crash. <laughs> yeah, I crashed there because I just, my brakes weren't working. No indictment on my brakes, it's just so steep and dusty that it was it just wasn't stopping, so I had to use a tree to stop. I just crashed into it, I may have skinned my elbow a bit, but nothing worse than that. And the finish. Whew, that is quite tricky. <laughs> but doable. Stage four. Last one, coming up. Riding my trusty cube stereo. Uh, all terrain, all mountain bike they call it, it's a jack of all trades really. I think it's a 150 travel up front, 140 rear, if that makes any sense. It's not designed specifically for downhill, but you can do downhill, especially sort of level and speed I'm going at. <laughs> Be nice to try a, a full downhill bike. Okay, I'm guessing it's more uphill. Fourth and final stage. Getting the right gear this time. This one, well, we'll see. I hear there's a couple of gap jumps on it, and I'm not a big fan of gap jumps. Gap jumping is one thing when you just jump in the air and land. Gap jumps are where you have to jump over a gap. And even when they're relatively easy, they get inside your mind. And well, we'll certainly stop and look at them. I did do a gap jump on Monday. The small one, so maybe I can. Anyway, All right, so far. There's another one after That's quite long. <laughs> <laughs> Cleared it. Ooh, kind of didn't clear it. Well, that's how you do the gap jumps, although one guy did slightly muff one, but got over it. I think I'll pass on those for today. All right. This is when you need the really good brakes. Make that one. Sneaky, that, yeah, I, can't, I had a feeling it was going to be like that. I just didn't quite commit. Another little foot down. Oh, interesting. Oh, 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 lost it. Front wheel just slipping out there. Little drop off. And we're down. So that's the four stages of Vatlin. I would say that is 
right on the on the edge of my ability. I've only been down here a couple of years. As I said before, a year ago I wouldn't have even attempted something like that. And two years ago, no chance. I don't, I've been mountain biking a long time, but mostly sort of cross-country stuff. Downhilling, very different story. Anyway, back now to the campsite. And I would say it's three o'clock. Lovely spot, really lovely. Let's see if I get mechanics. Look at my gears, just touch them up a bit. Little ride around the campsite. Huge. I'm only here for one night, but I'm probably going too far in. But you could still get a peaceful spot. Not sure how many people are entered. That's wheeling. Back to the van. Get my chair out. Have a beer. Got my icebox somewhere. Hiding around the back. And I bought a new bike. <laughs> bought a new gravel bike this afternoon. Because uh, I, I left my gravel bike, my uh, topstone in Chiang Mai in Thailand. Which was great. I didn't have to travel with a bike. But it meant I didn't have a gravel bike here. So I've been on the lookout for a second hand one. And strangely enough, I saw one online in Slandvaklin. This little Welsh village in the middle of nowhere. Nothing special. Specialised Diverge E5. Aluminium. Very basic. Tiagra. 2x10, but actually it's, it's fine, it's absolutely perfect, hydraulic disc brakes, he's still got, it's hardly been used, it was a Covid bike, he bought it in Covid and then hardly used it, still got the, the reflectors and the dork disc on, so I'll clean that up, might change the handlebars, get some flared, change the uh, tube to, tubes to tubeless, but it doesn't need a lot else, I can see it's the original chain, hasn't stretched at all, I tested it, so everything's good, great, and we'll get out on that. I think we'll go out to Snowdonia next week. Not a lot of damage, just lost a bit of skin, a bit of blood. I'll be fine. I'll be healed up in a day or so. Right, definitely beer o'clock. Uh, um, just before I get into this, and uh, I'll, I'll forget, it is forecast and the rain probably about 3 pm. A whole line of people. I've put my Marshall point, got my chair, got my flags, got my packed lunch, got a book, got an alpharetta just in case. It is cold out. It's June and it's very cold. I'm a bit out of the wind at least. So I'm at the bottom of the chute, which is a very steep drop off feature. I rode it yesterday, it's fine, but. Apparently someone came off it yesterday, so I have to radio for medics if someone does come a cropper. And then this bit's easy, it just rolls down to the uh, gap jumps, which I avoided. Youngsters. And that's it, down from the hill, out of the cold. Bikes are packed up, I'm gonna head home, get some food, I think. Anyway, that's what marshalling the Welsh Enduro is like. <laughs>